WEI and the Great Lakes Grant are really emblematic of several things that I think are really special about Wisconsin. Provost DeLuca talked already about our strength and history of strength in interdisciplinarity. Uh, the cluster hiring program that was launched well over 15 years ago, I think, really was Madison's big stake in the ground about how we were going to build a faculty that could address important problems of the future. And we're, we're certainly um, demonstrating that through the fruits of this project. But I think there's a couple other things about that that I want to elaborate on. One is it's a demonstration of really the depth of expertise that we have here, the quality and what it means not just for the research, but even for the student outcomes. Um, you know, when you think about it, the quality of faculty, research, facilities, students, and the opportunity students receive after their education all kind of go together. Those are rarely found at very different levels of quality in an institution. These are all parts of the production function of higher education. And, you know, this morning I was fortunate I had breakfast with Pat Thiele, who is a recently retired CEO of Partner Re, one of the largest reinsurance companies in the world. And I was talking to Pat about, you know, what it was about Wisconsin that helped him, and he said it was pretty simple. Uh, he was able to be part of a major in actuarial science, risk management, and insurance that isn't found at a lot of places in the depth that we have it here at Wisconsin. And he also took advantage of a lot of applied mathematics. And when he started in his career, he said, you know, I was just deeper than any of the other people starting out on the issues that really mattered. And that gave him the next leadership opportunity. And of course, we can't take credit for all of Pat's career, but I think we got him off to a great start. Now, of course, Wisconsin's well known for producing a lot of CEOs, and many of them, in fact, have been in the energy industry. Lee Raymond led ExxonMobil, um, John Rowe led Exelon in Chicago, just recently retired from there, Dave Lassar leads Halliburton, and of course we want to produce the next generation of energy leaders as well. And I think this building is sort of uh, emblematic of the fact that I'm confident we will do that. Because when you have a facility like this and you're working on exciting problems like this with the kind of federal support our faculty have attracted, you're going to have the best people. You're going to have the depth, and our and our future generations of students will benefit from that, and will will hit the job market with a big advantage over their peers. The other thing that this is an example of is really the way this university is able to leverage different funding sources to achieve something bigger than any one funding source could do. Uh, and of course, we've heard a lot about the federal and state commitments here and there was a slice of philanthropy that also backed this building project and I expect philanthropy will become much more important in future stages of the project. But Wisconsin is really built on the leverage that comes from federal, state, tuition, and private gift support in fairly equal proportions increasingly, uh, more equal than they once were when it was really dominated by state funding. But every one of those funding sources is really important because the margin of difference between a university like ours that brings in about $800 million of federal support a year and a university that brings in five or 600 may only be about $40 million worth of faculty support. And you know, at the foundation, we're very focused on trying to partner with the other funding sources in the places where we're needed to make things work where we can bring the most leverage and the most help and help attract the other dollars. And you know, it's, it's great for us to have faculty like Mike and Tim because you make our job easy. You know, when we have things like this to show people uh, and faculty like you to put in front of our donors, then we ought to be able to attract more investors because people like to be part of a winning team. So, um, you know, I, I realize that sometimes that complex funding model can drive some of us crazy because when different parts of the funding model change and we have to scramble a little bit to get bigger investments somewhere else, that can be a lot of extra work. But I think in the same way, bringing people from different disciplines together to work on a problem can make the outcome better. I think in a funny sort of way, 
maybe the fact that we have to find different funding sources sometimes forces us to think about the relevance of our work in a different way. And so uh, maybe some of that hassle is part of what makes us a more interesting place in the same way our interdisciplinarity does. But we're, we're really happy at the foundation to be playing the role that we do. We expect that we'll play an even bigger role in the future in keeping the best faculty here at Wisconsin. And we certainly want to play a bigger role in the energy space in attracting more investment to this important societal challenge. So thank you all for the opportunity to be here and celebrate this with you. It's nice to be in a completed project for once. Mm -hmm.